welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 12. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yes! Alright, so now I'm still in the graveyard here. I'm going to go through this little hole and start using my water bombs as I just got the, what's it called, the Zora tunic? The Zora armor, I believe. Right, Director's so cut. Alright, so let's dive in here. What's down her? I think those bombs violate physics. Right? Yeah. Theoretically, they should not be able to spark under the water, but that's why they're so badass. Yeah. Only barns can make the best bombs, at least it's useful for something. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think this takes us back to Lake Halia. Yep, it does. I like how the suit even has little flippers. Yeah, right? Flipper. I remember that TV show. Nothing will ever beat the Zora mask in Majora's Mask, though. Swimming with that is awesome. Yeah. Lake Holly is pretty beautiful here. Like I said before, in this one, it's like actual lake. How big it is. Yeah. Imagine how it's going to look like in Breath of the Wild. Man, I am so pumped for that game. I don't know, I think the CDI games are going to be better. Oh! <laughs> Dems fighting words! Troll level over 9,000. You just made the list! Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to talk to that uh, idiot. Or is he at, like, oh, the guy with the pot, the, the guy with the pot belly. Yeah. The pregnant belly. <laughs> yeah, he's over here. No, that's not. There he is. There he is. All right, shut up, you freaking Gomer Paul reject. Slam. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> Freaking redneck star soldier laugh. All right, here we go. Now let's skip this guard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this lever now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Combination of Gomer Paul and Goopy, love child. All right, long loading time. There we go. So this part's mainly gonna consist of bonus games. Whoa, this Time guy's even creepier. The... Time to play with the cocks. <laughs> yeah. This guy seems a little cocky. You know, you know, one false move, buddy, and you're out of your misery. Right. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, Link could just push him off right there. <laughs> oh no, wait. Never, never mind. He, I thought he was at. Well, yeah, I still can push him off. I thought he was at the very edge, though. Yeah, he's living on the edge. Alright, so I'm gonna try to land. Uh, I'll look around here. Yeah, right there. I know we got a kingdom to. I know we got a kingdom to save, but we just want to take a break and play some games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I rule can wait. Right. Try to land on top of that thing down there that's slowly spinning. You know, so peaceful here. Yeah. You know, I tried this in real life with a chicken. That don't work. <laughs> now, I saw a video where someone, uh, not really try to do it but it looked like they were trying to do it in real life and actually worked he goes what the <laughs> <laughs> all right there we go oh oh, 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 oh. Uh, come on that's I played, okay i played pilot wing 64 that... i know how to do this that's okay well he's got a heart it's just money right up top oh really i thought it was a, i thought it was a heart piece up there no it's just money up there uh, well that's dumb you, you think the heart piece would be up there it's more re rewarding Disneyland in the background. 
The world's caving in on you. I love the Zora music. Yeah, beautiful Zora's domain. Uh, the same music as in Ocarina of Time. And in this game, you could actually unfreeze it. Yeah. All right, where to go here? I'd rather be a Zora than a Goron because this is a more beautiful atmosphere. Yes. Alright, what's that fat catfish king? Uh, the king of the Zoras, whatever he is. <laughs> oh, I think Probably he died. still hasn't even left his throne room. No, well, no, the one in this game is dead, that's right, because uh, the, the queen is dead also, and Rawlis, the one that's, that was sick that we rescued, is. Uh, Gonna be the new king. Dang it! Yeah, someone tried to attack him and he couldn't move out of the way fast enough. Yeah. Oh! Well, I took one for the team. <laughs> Me. Me. Oh yeah. Jeez, that was annoying. So hurry up! Jeez, that's like a even bigger, fatter version of Volt Catfish from Mega Man X3. I guess this is the is this upper Zora's domain or the throne room. Got like all these up right here. It's kind of morbid when this thing is still frozen over and you use your wolf senses and they're all just laying there under the ice. Yeah. And it's like how they're still alive. They're frozen to death, but they're not human. They're Zora, so I guess they can endure freezing. Te uh, technically, I think humans can too. No. Oh. Because it's frozen, you're dead. Because it like freezes, like it, you're in perfect hibernation or something like that. No, I never heard of that. I heard because your blood freezes, your heart can't pump. But I'm not a doctor, so. Purple ruby. Oh, nice. We're going to go down here now. How much of those? Ten? Yeah, yellow's ten. Oh, I can't see anything. Whoa! <laughs> I'm playing uh, Wind Waker now? Look like fire. Yeah. Wind Waker fire. Link's like, what's the deal with this rock? I'm gonna blow it up! Yeah. Oh, I think, uh... That's the answer to everything. Yeah, that's right, there's a Goron in there. He should have eaten his way out. Right, yeah. Thanks, brother! Yeah. Oh, oh no! Nice. Got a bag with bombs. Yeah, if you play your cards right, you should never run out of bombs in this game. Yeah. You ever bother to use the bomblings, the little ones that scatter on the ground? No. Life Force. I never played that game. Oh, I love that game. Don't force me to play it. <laughs> I wonder how much those boots weigh. Uh, yeah, maybe a ton. I'm not sure, because... Well, if, that, if that's the case, then Link has some powerful leg strength. Yeah. They gotta weigh a good amount, because he used it to beat a Goron in a sumo wrestling match. Yeah, but in this game, you still gotta be light on your feet. As we approach nighttime here. 
if I should take a dive. Let's, let's see where I need to go next. Yep. Oh, Sprinch. almost hit that ledge. Or Link will hit it. No, I did. Did. <laughs> Just. Bug. Okay. I thought it was a poet at first. Not yet. Dragonfly. I think that was a poet up there, but I'm not ready to collect those yet. No, they won't appear yet. Oh. I thought someone outside of, in part 11, outside of Howrell Castle Town at night. Or maybe they do. Well, I know you can't do anything about them right now. Yeah. Speaking okay. of which, you gonna go for all 60? What, bugs? No, the post. Oh, I'm gonna try to. 60? I thought they were 20. Have you ever... No, you need 20, and then you can get... It's kind of like the Skulltala thing. You get a reward after 20, and then one after 60. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see about that. This LP's long enough, so I don't know. Up another rock with some more rupees. Or there's a bank in Hyrule. First Hyrule bank of Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, I barely discovered that actually uh, you can shield yourself from the blast. Because <laughs> I have a blast with this game. And if you're not careful, it'll blow you away. Right, what to do next here? It's very uh, easy to get sidetracked and distracted in this part of the game because it's so beautiful to explore. I know because now there's no more Twilight, so you can go pretty much anywhere. Right. Upper Zord River. What about Lower Zord River? Oh, I guess that's where we came from. Or was that the, was that the Medium Zord River? Oh, right. is it time to go fishing? Uh, maybe so. I have a love-hate relationship with the fishing hole here. Yeah, I had that with Ocarina of Time. This bug right here. <laughs> Link just snatches it. Yeah, because dragonflies, they're, they're the ones that hover over water, right? Mm. They hover over water and grass after it got mowed. Not that long ago, my uh, Nikki and I went to a pizza place and somehow a dragonfly had actually gotten in there. <laughs> So it like sat on the window next to us. <laughs> they look scary because it looks like they could hurt you, but they don't. What, oh, you're closed, man? What? Yeah, this is why. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought the shadow beasts were gone. There's no more twilight. Get out of here. Yeah, see, they didn't do their job, so they're kicking them out. I'm so used to fighting them as locally. <laughs> Just don't have a uh, Medna to do her trick where she can get off at the same time. Yeah, she's she's taking a break. Yeah. Because I'm the hero of time. Yeah. What a champ you are. <laughs> It's like at the end of Zelda 2 when it goes, thanks a million. I, lo I love how the hair just kind of swivels on the head. Yeah. Man, P Peggy Bundy, eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, Al, a handy guy would be a help around here. Uh, no, Peg. One of my favorite things in this game, freaking bomb arrows. Right, yeah. Remind me of Rambo with uh, in Rambo 2. We did the, uh, was it uh, 
exploding arrows. It's kind yep, of the same yep. Thing. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. I like how he killed that guy with the exploding arrow. Survive a war, you gotta become war. So, bonus game time. Bye. Ah. <laughs> here we go. I was never good at this. You didn't really get everything here. Yeah, the mini game you can play on this afterwards gave me some trouble, but I must must have done a lot with very got some practice because when I played it on the HD version, I cleared it the first time. Action bonus game music. Even though I have the volume all the way down on my end, I can I can still like picture and hear the music that plays during this. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I gotta go with the current here. You gotta stay current. I would so take this ride. Right. Whoa! Ah! What you? Jeez! Scared me. Where did this thing come from? What if you hit him with the bomb arrow? <laughs> yeah. Bonus game over. Him, her, whatever. Yeah. Or the uh, boss of Scour Sword go her him. There we go. Nikita calls him Tongue Man because he's always going. <laughs> Who? That Zora? No, gear him. Oh. I never seen her on him. I never even seen that far in the game. I just know. He's extremely, he's extremely flamboyant and full of himself. Yeah. Uh, Danny just told me about him. The name of him. I never actually seen him. Or better, maybe I need Rennie or Tintel. Fail. Remember that meme of uh, Chuck Norris where an or hits him in the face and he don't even budge? Yes. I saw something on Facebook last night. It showed like a 50 car pileup and one car that got through, and it has an arrow pointing to it with Chuck Norris's face. Nice. <laughs> Where's this Zora keeping all those rupees? Yeah, I never played the game, but I've seen Wave Race 64. This kind of reminds me of yep. it right here. So much open water. I can't imagine how talented you gotta be to make a game like this. And it sure ain't active enterprises. Right. They tried, but failed miserably. Oh. No way, I'm not the wolf. Speaking of which, that book I got, so far the only game to get a zero rating is Cheetah Men 2. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it worse than Cheetah Man 1? No, it depends who you talk to. What, what did they rate Action 52? I think it was like a star like a star and a half or half a star or something like that. Did they rate each individual game or just the game as a whole? The package as a whole. Oh, okay. Some of those don't even qualify as games. Yeah. Some don't even work. Yeah. 
that, did I get a bigger bomb bag? Yeah, you can upgrade all your bomb bags in this game. Cool, how many can I hold now? Up to 30. And I like how when you get an upgrade, it affects all of your bomb bags. Yeah. Whoa! That bird from Star Tropics. Oh, wait. Plum. Plum. Are you plum dumb? There's this place like, it's like I, I'm out of here. I'm not. De I'm not dealing with this thing. There's this place where I live at. It's called Mike Stahl's Plumbing, and their tagline is "We're Plum Cool." <laughs> that's something I said. That's something I would do if I had a plumbing company. That's the tagline I make up. We're Plum Cool. Come check us out today. It's not a bunch of pipe dreams. We are plum cool. We promise great service. Have Mario on the commercial. I think your pipes are clean. Ah, uh, pipe down, Mario, and just tell us about the business. We are plum. We'll give you a, z uh, a zero discount. We'll give you a 50% discount. Zero down payment. We, uh... Uh, so pipe down all you haters or something. It's plum incredible. Yeah. Oh man, speed of plum dumb. His, uh, his eyes look so sad. Yeah. Like hasn't Why am I here? Yeah, like hasn't slept in a month. Uh, watch out the tech tights. <laughs> the tech tights are gonna attack opponent. Yeah. A uh, Peter needs to come out the link. You let you let uh <laughs> You let a uh, opponent get attacked by the Tech Titans. Then again, uh, if, if, if Peter will go after Nintendo because of the stupid Tanuki suit controversy in Mario 3, they'll probably go after Link too. Yeah. I still can't believe that. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. I know, and, and especially considering that the Tanuki thing was in the original game, you know, decades ago. Yeah. What about all the NES games where you could punch and shoot dogs? Alright, or uh, hit chickens. Well, maybe they made up for it by having the chickens attack you back. And Peter said, that's okay. You know, I, I have to wonder, like, Mario 64, as awesome as it looks, imagine Mario 3 in that format. You know, I've always wanted them to bring Bowser's kids, the Koopalings, back for the 3D game. They've never been in any of the big 3D games. Yeah, I don't know why. But, you know, I think they're working on a... Are they working on a 2D Ocarina of Time? I know that a fan is making or has made Ocarina of Time in 3D. Yeah, that's what I meant. A fan made game, 2D Ocarina yeah. of Time. I, I've been hearing about that, but I haven't actually, I've seen parts of it. I, I don't know if they finished it yet or not. Someone also took Mario 64 and put that in 2D as well. I gotta see that. Oh, oh, wait a minute, we can't. Nintendo took it down. Never mind. <laughs> oh, the fishing hole. Yeah. The fish are crying? Fish cry? Getting the largest fish here is more of a pain <clears throat> than it should be in your reward. You don't really get a reward for it, but I have to do it any every time. Yeah. I just watched the episode of Soundfield, the parking garage, where Elaine had that goldfish in the bag, but couldn't get home on time to put the fish in a more sterile environment, so it died. <laughs> and Peter went after them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but Larry Dave in the commentary, or, no, or someone in the commentary, I guess to clarify in case Peter got butt hurt, he said, The fish were not hurt, we promise. Fish didn't really die, so calm down, Peter, you stupid idiots. You guys made the list. <laughs> Something fishy's going on with them. As Link tries to make up his mind, what he wants to do here? Keep fishing there, Link. There's a bottle there. Oh, yeah, there's a bottle. You found a bottle. Wait, there's someone inside. Hi, I'm Christina Aguilera. Points of reference. <laughs> I, I I don't think it's there if you actually go down there, but if you you can fish it out. 
Oh yeah. So would would she be a game genie in the bottle? Fail. Oh man. <laughs> Hope so. We'll use ECW mode. We're gonna do boat fishing first. Might come back for that bottle later. Have you ever played that little roll goal game here? Uh, <laughs> hold on his face. <laughs> His face, like, hey, look at this, he's fishies. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Oh, here's a girl from Little House on the Prairie. He's obviously never been here before. Did you just see the look on his face? Yeah. <laughs> now, what were you saying about the rolled gold pretzels? What? No. <laughs> no, those are good. But there's a game here called Roll Goal where you can. It's like one of those things where you have to tilt to make the ball fall in the hole. You know what I'm talking about? I do. It's in here. It's in this this cabin, and you can play it. It's got like, it's like uh, it has the same amount of levels in it as Super Mario Brothers. It's like, uh, like one 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 uh, one one to, to one eight two one to two eight that type of thing. And you get the frog lore if you beat the first world of it, so to speak, which helps you fish. But the first time I played this game, I actually played it all the way through, all the way to eight eight. It took me forever. To find out, the only reward you get is she fills your wallet up. Huh. Wow. I'll probably never do it again. I will play it to get the flora frog lore, but I'll never play it all the way up like that again. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I can capture your heart too. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you do butthead, I can't tell if you're doing butthead or Triple H. Uh. <laughs> I can see butthead as Triple H and, uh... And who be Beavis in WWE? Mm. Well, for with us, Star Soldier could be. No, oh, we guy. <laughs> J-Man be butthead. We did that, LP. Where they did... That's right. J-Man thought it was terrible and... I mean, it wasn't, uh, to me, it was all about the comedy of it. I did McVicker. Oh, oh, you little bastards, huh? Be my son, buddy. I'm gonna get you for this. As he gets taken down by the Secret Service agents. Okay, Beavis and Butthead, you need to stop bothering the principal, okay? <laughs> right, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Was it Van Dreesen? Yeah. Buzz cut. But hey, what are you doing? Davis! Get your foot over here! Mm -hmm. Mr. Anderson. You you the boys that spray painted my cat's butt? Uh, no. What's with those other kids? Ugh. Stewart. Stewart's wee guy. No, Stewart is Jeff. Stewart is Jeff. <laughs> J-Man is butthead and... Weebus, Weebus, uh, Wee Guy is Beavis. I don't know why I thought of this all of a sudden, but I think it's safe to, as we're trying to think of what to talk about here as I mess around. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. I know, it's too bad. We just watched the original Star Wars last night, Nikita and me. Yeah. That's probably why I thought of it, because fishing, Carrie Fisher. But anyway, yeah, seriously, Carrie Fisher, rest in peace, just found out that this morning, or as of this recording this morning so yeah may the force be with her ah this is the bonus game where we're gonna shoot all the lanterns only twenty dollars and you must sign this waiver yeah sign this waiver which means if you drown in the waves you can't sue us Let's follow the Zora here. Let's see if I get all 20. Is there 20 of them? 25. 25. That's the score you gotta get. But some are worth uh, multiple points. Yeah. See, the red ones, I believe, are worth two points. Yeah, I remember feeling at this a lot back then. Yeah, me too. Maybe the lanterns are green. I can hit them. At least you have unlimited ammo. Yeah. He 
puts the ball away, then takes it back out again. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that takes some skill. You gotta keep this, this uh, uh, strong current. You gotta paddle and then like aim precisely at the same time. This is Deliverant Zelda style. Yeah. Those lanterns remind me of the design in one of the levels in Kung Fu Kit for the Sega Master System. I like how the Bridge of Elden up there is still broken. It's a nice touch. I didn't notice that. There you go. Waterfalls. Don't go chasing them. I heard that song at work Imagine. last week. Imagine if you hit the Zora, you automatically lose. Oh, yeah, right? Like, like a Majora's Mask where you can hit that witch. I forgot about that part. Oh! I hate that stupid witch in Oracle Seasons that keeps bumping into me. <laughs> hey, you bumped to me. No, you did. That's a witch bitch. That's a sandwich place or whatever it is where I live. I call it witch witch. <laughs> Get it? Yes. I think it's stupid, but I heard it was a good place. Better be with that name. There's another stupid place where I live at called The Egg and I. The Egg and I? Yeah, The Egg and I. I made that before. It was it was good, but the name is like... Maybe they make these names stupid on purpose to get attention. Well, it's working. Uh, come on, Ronnie. Really you can do it. You can do it. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh, 26. ECW. 26? Huh. I broke the barrier. Alright, where's my prize? Where are we going? Here's your prize death. <laughs> Seriously, I thought there were only 25, I guess. Was it a bonus one? No, the score you have to get is 25, but there's more that you can get. Oh, okay. How many do you actually So miss? you don't have, Yeah, you don't have to be perfect. Oh, how many are there actually? I don't quite remember. Maybe 30? I'm not sure. There's some room for error. Now I got the giant bomb bag. I'd say play the other mini game going back up river, but you can't do that right now. Yeah. According to the map, there's a void in the middle of the lake. Right, yeah, I'm wondering what that is. Skip. According to the map, there's water. When there's water, you must swim. Yeah. Leave your buggy Unless you're and Simon swim. Belmont. Yeah. Or Blaster Master. Leave your buggy and swim. It's faster. <laughs> Which is probably true. I don't know. I never played Blaster Master. Actually, technically in Blaster Master, you can move in the water with the tank. Oh, cool. After you beat the fifth boss, the tank can move through water at the same speed. Are you telling me Skip was wrong? No. He just needs to get good. Yeah. Get Nick, good! If you... When I was playing... 
When I was playing Ninja Gaiden 2 last night, I was on the final level having some trouble, and Nikita told me to get good. <laughs> that probably pissed me off, because I really hate when people like, are saying it to me for real. I'm like, shut up. Like, <laughs> just shut the F up. I'll what, I, I turned around. I turned around and motioned to give her the controller, like, why don't you do it? She goes, no. I probably said, all right, here. Here, you do it. No, no. But then shut up. How about get quiet, kid? That's what I would say. <laughs> when I actually beat the game, she was sleeping. Oh, <laughs> uh, then she wakes up. They don't count because I didn't see it. <laughs> Videos or it didn't happen. Well, I took a picture and put it on Facebook, so believe me. It should be like, Photoshop. To now. It's epic music again. More horsing around. More trolls. Isn't there one of those golden foxes around here, or did you get that? You mean to learn another skill? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was uh, like on the south of Castle. Oh south yeah. Castle yeah. Town. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, that's the that one part. I'm thinking of. I got. Yeah, I got that part eleven where I learned the uh, where you roll and attack from behind. Yes. Okay. Oh. Give me some money. Oh. I believe you got to give this guy a thousand. And I want like I don't think I ever fully did this. Like, uh, what do you? What's the purpose of this? You get a heart piece. Oh, cool. Cause I think I gave so much and I ran out. I said, man, this is a, this is just a way that the game would trick you to losing rupees. Just like when you, like in the old Zelda games or in Oracle of Seasons, where you you uh, find a, a hidden passage, like you bomb a wall or burn a bush, and they go, oh. Thank you for paying me for the repairs, and they take your rupees. Yeah. I thought this is what it was. It's the way you're tricking out your rupees. It made me mad. What I usually do is I'll turn in my bugs to Agatha, and that's a quick way to build up rupees to do this. Yeah. Because if you want 100% this game, you got to spend quite a bit. Yeah. All right, thank you, Sahasrila. Moving on. The carnival back, back there. I might do that. Right here, check this out. Freaking dog from Ocarina of Time, what do you want? Well, I guess I'll go in. Stray dog is going in with me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's a wrestling arena. We have a cage match? <laughs> That'd be cool, like. Have a segment like in the first Spider Man, Bonesaw McGraw versus uh, Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. Link versus. Uh, the, Gor the Gorons want a rematch. Yeah. Hey. Your opponent for tonight, James Ellsworth. Yeah. <laughs> That's a warm up match. The final boss of this game is Barack oh, Lesnar. No, no. Barack Lesnar is Zant. And Heyman, since he's the advocate and the puppet master, he's Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this maybe later. <laughs> no, Roman Reigns could be Zant because he wants to be the head, the big guy, but he can't. <laughs> And of course, Link is John Cena, dun, 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 overcoming all the odds. Dun, 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 Super Cena. What is this? Well, Look at this guy, he's always peeking in her window. Freaking creeper. Sir, uh, I need you to come in here and have a seat. I'm trying to look at Agatha, she's probably 12 years old. <laughs> How it is, Agatha? 
18. But I, but I just like bugs. Okay, sir. So have a seat. Take a seat. Tell me why then you were looking in when she didn't have any. Hmm. I tell you what you got. You got. No, no. She goes. No, here. She probably say something like, "Let's say you got the love bug here, but she's underage. Is that bug?" <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I was looking for bugs. That's what I was looking for. Uh huh. Right. Looking for something else. I'll show you my bug if you show me yours. <laughs> Your eyes are bugging out of your head, sir. You're lying to me here. Some of the things she says about these bugs are quite disturbing. Yeah. Right, the stick bugs or the phasmid. Whatever. You can sometimes find her wandering around outside the castle gates, too. I've never seen it before. Just like the postman, you'll find him in random places. <laughs> Not running after you, but actually squatting down, looking at mail. Just like we did in, uh, in the barn in uh, Orton Ranch. <laughs> I think he appears in other areas of the game, too, later on. This, I'm probably gonna leave. I don't want to stay here, or can get more bugs later. Got plenty of time before we, if I, for me to do that. All right, fine. I'll give you another one. I remember she keeps she keeps saying that she's gonna have a ball with all of them. I I remember thinking like, what's gonna happen when I give her all these? Yeah, she's she gonna go to the ball with him. I guess show him off, or I don't know. It's weird. This is a weird uh, she's, part of the game. She's she's gonna have a ball. Yeah. All right, creeper. What business do you have? For, what business do you have uh, being a peeping tom? <laughs> no, you're better off not harassing freaking creeper. As soon as he leaves the castle town, the cops take him down. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! <laughs> to catch a predator. We are now, we are back with Hanson vs. Predator. This time we are in Hyrule. That's probably the only reason he's still there is because the castle guards suck. Right, yeah. Yeah, the castle guard, the Hyrule edition of To Catch a Predator, the Hyrule guards take him down, but not really because they'll escape because the Hyrule guards suck. For the first time ever, the predator escapes. Whoa. That's not enough. I need more. Oh. Yeah. I mean, why'd I pick 30? Why don't I just keep on picking 50? I don't know why I keep on picking 30 sometimes. Oh. Oh, there we go. There, there you go. Nice. Blessings from the heavens. Nice. Got eight hearts now. Back in high roll file. What's that guy's name? Uh, WC Fields? Yep. ECW Fields? Well, <laughs> I remember uh, on the last episode of Nitro where William Regal goes, I have something to say about WC Fields. <laughs> the very fate of WCW was in my hands. Yeah. Shane McMahon. The contract reads Shane McMahon. I love how at the beginning of that show, Tony Schiavone is like, Welcome to a landmark night in the industry of sports entertainment. 
it just seems it seems so weird for him to call it sports entertainment, you know? Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Yeah, he's probably told to say that. Mm. But one, uh, I like I think it was a shoot because William Regal. I mean, I think what William, William Regal might have said was scripted, but Tony Giovanni probably did a shoot back. William Regal said, "Vince, are you sure you want to buy that company? I've been down there before. It's like a cesspool. You don't want none of this." And Tony <laughs> Giovanni said. You know, I, I want to address the comments that William Regal made, tell, talking bad about our company. You know, we had to do a lot of crazy things on this program, Steve Regal, including trying to put your ass over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? What are they gonna do? Fire Tony? He probably don't yeah, care. I mean, even though he said sports entertainment, I guess just to do what they say. But after that, he, you, you never saw him again in wrestling. I I, I know. Well, actually, you might. In TNA, he made a brief appearance, but it seemed like it worked. Shoot. With, by my today, but like as far as like full time broadcasting, like unless it's independent, I've never seen him again. Well, from what I understand, the year or so he spent in the 80s with the WWF, he hated. Yeah, he was there for a brief period, that's right. Then went back to WCW. Right, let me see if I can get right. I know it's just. Ruby's right here, but let me see if I actually. I want to prove this to myself. Yes, my pilot wings. There you go. Come back to me. Nice. The look on Link's face, I should have been. What? Yeah. I still think of the look he had in his face when he entered that cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks so funny. It's like, what is so special about there? It's like, you see a fish tank, and he must like fishing, I guess. It's like, whoa, cool, a bunch yeah. of fishing stuff. We didn't have any fish on the ranch. Yeah. I mean, I went fishing, but we just had a little, little kiddie pool. Back in my daggum day, we didn't have a big, vast lake. We had a kiddie pool to make the best of it. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you're some guy stuff, ran though. some guy ran it who lost his hair. Yeah. You can actually fish that guy's hat off his head in Ocarina of Time. Really? Yep, <laughs> as don't like you can fish it right off his head. Nice. Yeah, saying sorry, sir, you've been fished. <laughs> you know what just came to my mind? You ever play Goonies too? Yeah, I did LP of that. Well, Shameless plug. When you pu when you punch someone and they go, "Ouch!" What do you do? <laughs> oh yeah, what do you do? Like what? <laughs> Mine's with Metal Gear. I feel asleep. I have key or whatever. It's... All right, so now we're at the entrance of the Water Temple. There we go. Nice. All right, so that marks the end of part twelve. So until then, God bless. Take care. See you, everyone.